What's the difference between a Bugatti and a load of storage boxes filled with old decrepit junk? I don't have a Bugatti in my garage. I do, however, have access to a very peculiar set of skills that have allowed me to curate a collection of the world's coolest cars that I'll never afford for your viewing pleasure. From crystal-clad coupes to the car that's worth more than 500 Lamborghinis, strap in as we take a spin around some of the most expensive cars in the entire world. Crystal-studded Lamborghini Huracan they say that all that glitters is not gold, and in the case of the first costly car in route, that's true. In this case, all that's glittering is not gold, but crystal. In 2018, while studying at a London university, Russian Instagram star Daria Radianova made the educated judgment that her $215,000 ruby red Lamborghini Huracan simply
wasn't Instagrammable enough on its own. In between classes, Daria turned to master Swarovski artist Vince Vincetti, who led an expert team to painstakingly place 1.3 million Swarovski crystals across every inch of the card's crimson bodywork by hand. The result was this sparkling sensation that's capable of turning more heads than any regular Instagram post ever could. While they may sparkle like diamonds, Swarovski crystals are not made from natural diamonds or gemstones. The crystals are synthetic glass cut to look like diamonds, and while they're not as valuable as you might think, the amount of hours required for the team of Vincetti to install over a million of them would have cost a pretty penny. While it's not clear exactly how much it cost Aria to pump this rug, a similar project in 2014 set her back almost $75,000, which means this new Red Speed Demon came with a total price tag of at least $290,000. While Daria may not get any recognition in economics class, it's safe to say that she passed the influencer exam with flying colors, driving off into a Swarovski red sunset. Qatari Royal Lamborghini Aventador From Instagram royalty to a real-life royal ride now, let me introduce you to this Lamborghini Aventador owned by Nassar Altani, a member of the Qatari Royal family. On its own, an Aventador can set you back upwards of $400,000, but this is no ordinary Lambo. The customized ride sports an iconic electric purple body adorned with brightly contrasting orange stripes that make it look like it's escaped straight out of Tron's game grid. And the sci-fi fantasy doesn't stop there thanks to the built-in flamethrower exhaust. This is a common result of the Aventador's powerful engine occasionally spewing unburnt fuel into the exhaust, which is ignited in the heat of the piping, all of which converts this already sweet ride into quite the road rocket. Solid Gold Supremity as we've seen already when it comes to luxury cars, the designers and engineers at Lamborghini are well adept at taking the wheel. But even crystals and luminous accents are no match for this next Lambo mod. It all started back in 2013 when renowned German engineer Robert Gulpin unveiled this incredible solid gold Lamborghini Aventador. But while all that glitters is gold in this instance, this vehicle is hiding a little secret. The solid gold ride is actually a 1/8 scale model of a full-sized Aventador and was presented as a prototype for a future full-sized working version. Crafted out of a half-ton block of 22 karat gold as well as including a further 55 pounds of precious metal adornments, the model was priced at a jaw-dropping $350,000. That's almost the same price as a full-size working Lamborghini Aventador released in the very same year. Despite the fantastical model achieving the title of most expensive model car ever made, the dream of a full-scale, real solid gold Aventador is yet to see the golden light of day. That's not to say there are no gold cars out there. Well, gold in appearance, at least. In 2018, controversial singer Chris Brown had his Lamborghini Aventador wrapped with a blinding gold chrome wrap exterior, catapulting its value sky high. The mods were courtesy of Los Angeles-based luxury auto shop RDBLA, who not only wrapped this pot of gold, but also added a set of custom-made gold wheels made by master wheel designer Rochato to match. The finishing touch was a Nike Tick graphic integrated onto the car's sides, making this ride the ultimate gold medal for sport and sneaker enthusiasts everywhere. The base price for the Aventador SV Roadster in 2018 was around $535,500, and with all the mods Chris made, it's estimated that this set him back an additional $50,000 or so, bringing the total up to approximately $580,000. While Chris's moral character is questionable, there's no questioning whether he has a love for overly flashy cars, which are definitely not overcompensating for anything. Rolls-Royce Wraith Palm Edition 999 Touted as one of the most iconic car manufacturers of all time, Rolls-Royce is another brand that has truly reached the gold standard when it comes to luxurious road travel, and they can prove it. In 2016, nine standard Rolls-Royce Wraith models were taken from lavish to ludicrous when they were pimped up with pure gold. The work was carried out by a luxury vehicle modification firm called Mansory, who upgraded everything including the door handles, sills, and belt buckles which were redesigned to be made of pure gold. Several dashboard elements have been recast in gold and even the upholstery has matching leather accents in the same treasure tones. To top it all off, the wheels, hood, mirrors, roof, and bumpers are also accented with a gold-hued metallic finish. The pure gold design has even been mirrored in the upgraded Wraith's name, the Palm Edition 999. The 999 comes from the 999.9 .9 mark found on 24 karat gold bullion, which indicates the gold is 999.9 .9 parts pure gold per 1,000 parts. While an original Wraith will set car connoisseurs back a sparkling $300,000, the gold-laden palm editions are valued at a blinding $635,000 each. And if that wasn't enough, buyers can request additional gold plating on any of the car's services. So if you've got the cash, it seems you can upgrade this ride to cost its full weight in pure 999 gold. Pagani Waira When you're one of the youngest members of the world's exclusive multi-billionaire club, you'd think you'd have nothing left to prove. 
But in the case of social media mogul Mark Zuckerberg, it seems he's still keen to show the world that he is truly in the driving seat of a million dollar supercar. In 2014, the Facebook founder and CEO, once known for keeping a low profile, reportedly flipped the script and became one of the few Americans to own the shape-shifting Pagani Huayra. Equipped with a six-liter twin-turbo engine, this Picasso on wheels sports 730 horsepower with the ability to accelerate from zero to 60 in an impressive 3.2 seconds, with a top speed of 235 miles per hour. The Huayra is made up of a special material called carbotanium, a blend of carbon fiber and titanium that can withstand significant amounts of heat and strain while being surprisingly lightweight. It's reported that the Zuck splashed $1.4 million to acquire his very own Huayra, which multi-billion dollar wealth considered is probably about as financially significant for the Zuckster as buying one of these is for a regular person. Zinger 21C It's safe to say that when it comes to innovative ideas, the car industry has a full tank. But there's a new company on the block that's determined to blast through any red lights, to make some green dollar bills of their own. Headed up by founder Kevin Zinger, Zinger is a Los Angeles-based performance vehicle brand that unveiled a car with quite the outrageous price tag in 2020. A huge fan of the legendary martial artist Bruce Lee, Kevin Zinger believes that like Bruce, a hypercar should be a lean, mean, efficient machine. And so we meet the Zinger 21C. Priced at a mind-blowing $2.6 million, or even more if buyers are looking for a customized experience, the 21C is a supercar for the super rich. Touted as the world's most technologically advanced hypercar, the 21C took more than seven years of technological development and hundreds of millions of dollars of investment, which somehow makes the two million price tag sound almost reasonable. Intriguingly, Singer reportedly used a sophisticated and very secret artificial intelligence system to generate the best car design possible. Not only are most of the mechanics designed by AI, but many parts are actually 3D printed and assembled by robots. While it might be designed and built by robots, peering into the car's machine-contrived engine bay is like studying the complex anatomy of a living, breathing organism. Every component on the 21C has been laser-cut with such precision that not a gram of material has gone to waste. In fact, unlike most hypercars, the 21C exists in harmony with nature, to an extent. It's a hybrid, and while it can use gasoline, it's also geared up to run on a carbon-neutral fuel source known as Zero Emissions Carbon Recycled Methanol, which can be sustainably extracted from plant-based biomass. Only 80 of these lean machines have been set for production and are set to be delivered to their new owners in early 2023, giving them exclusive bragging rights for not only owning a hypercar, but a slightly eco-friendlier one designed by robots. What a time to be alive, and absurdly wealthy. Apollo Intenza Emotion some of the more intense gearheads out there may describe their cars as the true loves of their lives, but this next one is going to require a pretty harsh breakup with the contents of their wallets first. With a name meaning intense emotion in Italian, the Apollo Intenza Emotion is a truly beautiful car that's sure to set hearts and wallets alike with its striking appearance, oh, and the $2,670,000 price tag. But aside from its pulse-raising name, what exactly makes this car so expensive? The Intenza Emotion includes a uniquely shaped triple exhaust system that costs almost $100,000 alone, alongside an engine that produces 780 horsepower and a top speed of 208 miles per hour. Clearly, the Apollo Intenza Emotion provides a roller coaster ride, but it's not only its capacity for speed that allows this. Theoretically, this car is able to drive upside down thanks to the car's weight and downforce being similar when traveling at high speeds. According to Apollo, the IE can produce a downforce of around 3,000 pounds while traveling at 186 miles per hour. As the IE weighs in at just 2,760 pounds thanks to the fact that it's made almost entirely of carbon fiber, this means that the aerodynamic car can experience a downward force of air approximately equal to its own weight, which basically means enough to stick to the ceiling at high speeds. While no one has volunteered to test this theory for real, and the IE is still undergoing production, it's safe to say that this supercar has already raised the roof of the auto industry. Bugatti Bolide Around the world, the Bugatti name has become synonymous with speed, and for good reason. In 2019, the Bugatti Chiron was the first road car to truly break 300 miles per hour. But even the $2.9 million Chiron pales in comparison to Bugatti's fastest and boldest hypercar to date, the Bugatti Bolide. This car is all about performance, which means that all unnecessary luxuries have been stripped away from the interior with nothing but raw track talent remaining. This track star can scorch at over 311 miles per hour in just 20 seconds, thanks to its lightweight carbon fiber body and 8 liter engine, which allows the Bolide to generate 1,577 horsepower. While the Bolide wins the trophy for being one of the fastest cars in existence, turns out it's quite the trophy itself. The Bugatti Bolide was named the world's most beautiful hypercar by an expert jury at the 2021 International Automobile Festival in Paris. But if you're up for taming this beauty, you're gonna have to pay a beastly price, $4,713,600 to be exact. 
Aside from the one existing prototype, Bugatti are planning to produce just 40 Bolides, which are scheduled for completion in 2024. New owners can also get their hands on one of these Bolide-inspired champagne bottles wrapped in carbon fiber like the Hypercar itself. Alcohol paired with a monstrously powerful Hypercar, marketed to thrill-seeking millionaires, what could possibly go wrong? Bugatti Cento Dieci When you're a luxury car brand celebrating your 110th birthday, what do you do? Make a stupidly expensive car that barely anyone can afford, of course. A tribute to Bugatti's successful 110-year course of exceptional design, the Cento Dieci takes inspiration from one of the supercars from the brand's history, the 1991 EB110 the fastest supercar of its time. Featuring a modern interpretation of the EB110's wedge shape as well as a turbocharged version of its W16 engine, the Cento Dieci boasts 1,578 horsepower. Bugatti's 110th birthday special vehicle went up for sale at an eye-watering $9 million, with just 10 limited edition units of the Cento Dieci produced, all of which were snapped up at auction in 2019 before production even started. Those on the pre-order list include none other than soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo, who's set to crown the Cento Dieci as the rarest and most expensive car in his impressive collection, which already includes a Bugatti Veyron and Chiron. Although $9 million is still nowhere near enough to make a dent in Ronaldo's fortune. I mean, the man reportedly earns around $500,000 every single week. After three years of production, Bugatti delivered the first customer Cento Dieci in June 2022, and interest for the limited edition cars is soaring. As a result, the Cento Dieci's value has been rising, and fast. In 2022, an unnamed Japanese dealer auctioned his pre-order for an astonishing $14 million, before the car even made it into production. Excessive? Maybe. But then again, if you've got enough money to drop $14 million on four wheels and a buttload of clout, what else are you supposed to spend it on? Rolls-Royce Boat Tail Aside from all the expensive bells and whistles, the cars in this video so far have been built with the underlying purpose of transporting people from A to B. But that's about to change as this next car is really more of an ultra-luxurious hangout spot. Known for their quintessentially British flair for luxury, Rolls-Royce set a new precedent for multi-purpose travel in 2021 when they announced their most ambitious and most expensive new model. Measuring 19 feet from bumper to bumper, the nautically-themed Rolls-Royce boat tail is probably the most decked-out car you'll ever set your eyes on. The vehicle boasts a whole host of luxury features including its unique rear deck that opens with the touch of a button to reveal a dinner set, parasol, rotating cocktail tables, and refrigerator. With all these extras, it's no wonder that the boat tail's price tag follows soon. But you're still probably going to want to sit down before I tell you just how extra this price really is. The Rolls-Royce boat tail is estimated to be worth a shipwrecking $28 million. Just three boat tails were set for release, and the nautical theme was born out of the love for J-Class yachts shared by the types of people who could afford a car like this. This blue one, for example, is rumored to have been commissioned by America's favorite power couple, Beyonce and Jay-Z, in a nod to their eldest daughter Blue Ivy and general obsession with the hue. There's no doubt the boat tail represents the absolute pinnacle of automotive grandeur, as Rolls-Royce themselves have said the boat tail isn't about reaching a destination, it is the destination itself. Pricey and poetic. Lamborghini Egoista If you haven't caught on yet, supercars are a luxury that only those with serious dollars can afford. But Lamborghini have taken that idea and pushed it to a whole new level of expensiveness. In 2013, Lamborghini commemorated its 50th anniversary by creating the most egotistical automobile to date, the Lamborghini Egoista. While the design was inspired by fighter jets, the Lamborghini Egoista is even more expensive than most of its sky-high inspiration. In fact, the one Egoista in existence is valued at a soaring $117 million, while many advanced fighter jets sit pretty at less than $100 million. Aptly dubbed with a name that translates to selfish in Italian, the Egoista is a single-seater Lamborghini, giving any driver a truly exclusive experience. This one-man band doesn't even bother itself with doors, instead making its thrill-seeking driver climb out of the little cockpit at the behest of an overhead dome. Oh, and the car's exterior is made of special aeronautical spec anti-radar materials, which apparently makes it immune to radar waves used by a certain types of speed camera. If you're questioning how a car like this can ever be road legal, then I'll stop you right there. It can't be. Sadly, this car is purely intended as a unique way to showcase Lamborghini's out-of-the-box technological capabilities and is not road legal. So, even if you did have $117 million to spare, then sorry to disappoint. The Egoista is just too special to be made available for purchase. Regardless, the Egoista is displayed for viewing at the Lamborghini Museum in Santa Gata, Bologna in Italy. And for such an egotistical machine, being proudly on display in a museum seems a pretty fitting resting place. The Cars of Dreams 
While androids may dream of electric sheep, car engineers have electric dreams about all of the incredible cars of the future. The result of some of these dreams, concept cars are a chance for designers to flex their creative gears and express their wildest automotive fantasies of what they would build if they could, often without the limitations of reasonable budgets. Inspiration for concept cars can come from all sorts of places, but when a concept is driven by the Avatar franchise, you know things are about to get next level futuristic. The Mercedes Vision AVTR not only looks like an alien spaceship, but it's as high-tech as one, too. The most unique thing about this concept car is that there is no steering wheel. The Vision AVTR utilizes an intuitive control pad that can be controlled with just one hand. The intuitive control can also recognize different drivers by their heartbeat, and wearable electrodes attached to the back of the driver's head allows the AVTR to literally read minds. Unfortunately, the inner workings of this tech remain somewhat undisclosed for now, and the value of this concept car has never been officially announced. However, given that Mercedes' most expensive consumer car currently in production has a price tag in excess of $320,000, it's fair to assume that once this tech becomes available, the AVTR could well cost upwards of that ballpark figure. On to another souped-up concept now. Not only does the Lamborghini Turzo Millennial look like the Batmobile brought to life, but it's designed to have its very own superpowers, too. The concept aims to include a self-healing process in which the car will detect surface damages and repair itself with nanotechnology, a type of tech that is currently in the very early stages of its development. This self-healing supercar touts a predicted value of $2.5 million, and like its name, is truly fit for the third millennium. And Lamborghini aren't the only ones dreaming up future iterations of their fleet of vehicles. Back in 2008, student Slavke Tanevsky designed what he dubbed the Lamborghini Anconia. While it was named in line with Lambo's traditional penchant for species of bull, I'd say this supercar is more suited to Anakin Skywalker's fate. Just picture Vader in the front seat, Emperor in the back. Do it. More outlandish ideas for the automotive future now? This concept was dreamt up by digital artist Luca Serafini, dubbed the Alfa Romero Montreal Vision GT. This rendering offers a glimpse into a future in which the roads look like a real-life Gran Turismo game. Inspired by Alfa Romeo's Montreal car from the 1970s, this updated version certainly won't be powered by the original's 1.6-liter V8 engine, but will likely be an all-electric or hybrid experience. While there's no indication of how much this concept car would cost, the original has been seen fetching $176,000 at auction. Add another zero or two to that number and I'd wager we're looking at a more realistic price point for this concept. Driving onward now, and despite being synonymous with history and tradition, Rolls-Royce has quite the futuristic vision for the next 100 years of automation. Dubbed the 103EX, this zero-emissions upgrade to the Rolls-Royce cars of yore looks more like a yacht than a car. It even comes with a virtual assistant named Eleanor, who gets to know the driver's preferences and schedules. She'll even automatically drive the car around to you when you're ready to hit the road. More than that, Eleanor will project a red light onto the ground upon the driver's exit, mimicking a red carpet so you can step out like the VIP you really are. While the car's a concept, the floor lighting and many of the AI and self-driving capabilities it would feature do indeed already exist. Although knowing Rolls-Royce, a car of this kind would likely be off-limits to anyone with less than 300 k in the bank. Still, while most concept cars will sadly never enter production, the car coming up next is not only very real, it's the most expensive car in the world. Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR From crystals to gold to futuristic fantasies, you might think we've seen just about everything when it comes to expensive cars. Well, you'd better make sure that belt's buckled tight, as we're about to zoom straight into the fast lane alongside the priciest set of wheels in the world. Produced in 1955, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Ulmhawk Coupe is an icon of automotive rarity. Only two prototypes were ever produced by the Mercedes-Benz racing department, and the 300 SLR was designed for the track, being the fastest car of its time with top speeds of 140 miles per hour. After decades of keeping both of these ultra-rare relics locked up in their personal collections, Mercedes finally relented in 2022 and put one of the 300 SLRs up for auction. The auction was an extremely exclusive affair with just a handful of the world's wealthiest car collectors and their representatives invited to bid. The unprecedented event took place on May 5, 2022, and with a starting bid of $50 million, it was clear that things were about to go off the rails. As the hammer came down, the final price for the Uhlenhaupt Coupe was a scorching $142.9 million, making it the most expensive vehicle in the history of the world. To put things into perspective, that amount of money would be enough to buy 664 of the car first in this video, the Lamborghini Huracan. While the identity of the mystery buyer was never officially confirmed, we do know that the final bid for the 300 SLR was made by British classic car expert and dealer Simon Kidston on behalf of an unnamed private collector. Whoever you are, Mr. Private Collector, I'd like to propose a trade. You give me your $142 million bins, and I'll give you a whole host of educational entertaining content right here on the channel. <laughs> Be amazed, you devilish genius. That collector will never realize this content is all free anyway. <coughs> is this thing still recording? 